Hey Valley Metal, welcome to another math video. Today we're going to be discussing the area of a triangle. This should be a review for you from fifth grade. Alright, let's get started with something fun though. This is from my nutty son Casey. There's a picture of him there. I just went to get a picture of him off my photos and this is one he had taken of himself. It's the first one that appeared. It confirms my description of nutty. Uh, name a city in the world whose name can be pronounced without moving your lips. I told you he's a little off in his thinking, but it's kind of fun. I got to give him that. All right, let's get to the target for the day. Officially, the target is 11.2a. I can find the area of a triangle. Let's do this thing. All right, take a look at these uh, triangles. What is the area of triangles A and B? See if you can figure it out. Yeah, there's enough information there to figure it out. I know what you're thinking, but go ahead. All right, just figure it out. Would it help if I did this? Now think about it. Can you tell me what the area of triangle A is and triangle B? Well, if you said one half of 36 square centimeters, you are correct because the triangle is exactly half of the square. So if the square is 36, half of 36 is 18. Half of 48 is 24 square centimeters. Kind of cool, huh? Hope I made you think about that one. Let's get to some words and formulas that you need to know. I put a review up here of just some words from uh, your fifth grade that you really should know. Uh, scalene triangle, no equal sides, no equal angles. Isosceles would be two sides and two angles are equal. Equilateral, all sides and angles are equal. A right triangle, one right angle. Acute, all acute angles. Remember those are angles that are like less than 90 degrees. And one obtuse angle, that would be one angle that is greater than 90. Um, also, uh, the area of a triangle, uh, they give you this formula right here. Area is one-half the base times the height. I wanted to give you this graphic just to show you. You can pick any side of a triangle and make it its base. So if you pick this one down here, and then you just drop a line perpendicular to that base that goes to the vertex, that will be the height. So in this case here, they chose side B to be the base, so they drop a line perpendicular from the vertex down to that line, so perpendicular to the base, up to the vertex, and that's your height. All right? Just to clear up any confusion that might be there. So here's the triangle here. Uh, it's an isosceles triangle. You've got two sides and two angles are the same. This side is the same and this side, therefore this angle and this angle will be the same. Its height is 8 centimeters, its base is 4 centimeters. So, the area equals 1 half the base times the height. So, the area equals 1 half, base is 4, height is 8. So, I simplify. The area is equal to 1 half of 32, and half of 32, of course, is 16 centimeters squared, because we are talking about area. Area is always in, in units squared. If that doesn't make sense to you, think about this picture up here. If I completed this triangle, if I made it into a rectangle, its height would be 8, and its base would be 4. The total area of the red rectangle here would be 32. Take a look at the triangle. Sorry about that. Take a look at the triangle. You can see how that would be exactly half the area. So if you took this red triangle and this red triangle and flipped them, you could put them together right over the top of that blue, half the area. Hope that helps. All right, let's move on, take a look at some examples and let you try. Uh, determine the area of this triangle here, and I've given you the formula. Go ahead and pause. Okay, let's see how you did. Well, the base is 12 inches times 4 inches, so the area equals 1 half of 12 times 4. Sorry, I forgot the one half there. 
1 half of 12 times 4 is 1 half of 48 or 24 inches squared. Don't forget area, units squared. And then I put down here in blue. Does your answer make sense? Well, let's see. 4 times 12, but 48 would be the whole rectangle, so half of that, 24. Yeah, my answer makes sense. All right, move on. Example number two. Hmm, picked a scalene triangle this time. And sometimes they're going to show you the measurements in different ways. So here, I'm just showing that this is the height over here. Okay, go ahead. Determine the area. All right, let's see how you did. Well, 1 half of base times height, so I got 1 half of 20 times 60 for my two measurements. So that's 1 half of 120, or the area would be 60 feet squared. Does the answer make sense? Yeah, it's in feet, and I had feet were my labels, and it would be 1 half of that entire rectangle, which you know, would be 20 times 6, or 120, so half of 120. Yeah, my answer makes sense. All right, one more example. Okay, go ahead. All right. My purpose of putting the measurements like that were to maybe freak you out a little bit and confuse you. Again, I just want you to make sure that you understand you only need two measurements to figure that out. You need the base, which is here, and you need the height. This long side of the triangle or the hypotenuse, you don't need this one. So you could take and throw that guy out. If you did your answer, if you calculated it correctly, you would have had 1 half of 12 times 20 or 20 times 12, the base times height. That is equal to 240, 1 half of 240. Or if you'd like to think of it as 240 over 2, you could think of it that way too. Uh, half of 240 is 120 yards, or 240 divided by 2, same thing, 120 yards. And does your answer make sense? Yeah, it does, because 20 times 12 would be 240 for this entire rectangle, and the triangle, of course, would be half. All right, I think you got this down. Again, this should be review. Take a look at these things here. See if you can figure out how I solved these. Pause it for a minute. All right. If you studied these, you'll see that I did 10 times 12 is 120, or 20 times 6 is 120. But those aren't the measurements. What did I do? Well, I took a shortcut that will work. If you understand 1 half base times height, you can take a shortcut and take any side like this side here, 20, and cut it in half, which I did here, 10, and multiply it by the other side, 10 times 6, 60 feet. Again, as a quick check, you can go 20 times 6 is 120, half of that is 60. But you can cut any side, sorry, you can cut the base or the height in half, either one, but not both, and very quickly calculate the area of a triangle. Take a look here. 12 times 4, that's the base and the height. I cut the base in half here, and I got 24 square centimeters. Here, I cut the height in half. I used the base, 12 times 2, or half the height, equals 24. And if you think about it, it makes sense that that would work. But that's just kind of a shortcut. Got something underneath here. Why did I use it? A lot of times, I figure out um, the area of a triangle by using 1 half base times height and I check it with that strategy. Just cut aside or cut the base or the height in half and uh, determine it. So hopefully that will give you something to think about. All right, let's go to the ticket to the show. Uh, find the area of these two triangles. And I know you're going to say, Mr. Dudley, you didn't give me all the information I needed to decide to figure this one out. Yeah, I did. So you're going to have to think about that one and think about what kind of a triangle it is. Okay? Go ahead and solve those two for tomorrow, and let's get to the just for fun question. All right, back to my nutty son, Casey. He claims that the only city in the world that you can say without moving your lips is Hong Kong. I'll say it again. <laughs> Hong Kong. 
I don't know. I challenged him and I said, Kansas City, Kansas City. And then he said, hey, use this as one of your questions and get kids from class to come up with the name of a city that they can say without moving your lips. And then I'll have a whole list of these cities. Why he needs a whole list, I don't know. He's just kind of nutty like that, but he's awful fun to be around. Hope you enjoyed the uh, question from Casey, and thanks for paying attention. Have a great night.